Okay, so let's go over something that I covered yesterday. And I said in the video that the rumor that was going around needed to be taken with a giant grain of salt because of the fact that $300 million for one person to come back to a franchise is kind of insane. That's, of course, the rumor that JD was being courted by Disney to come back for Pirates of the Caribbean for a $300 million payday. And as cool as that would be, let's be real for a second. $300 million for one person is kind of a lot of money. And it's like, that's, that's as somebody pointed out, more than the combined budgets for all of them, like the first three, I guess. I don't know how true that is, but it was still a decent point. Like, this is a lot of money. So I said in the video, I said, I, I don't think it's true. And it turns out it isn't. So Tug went and confirmed it through some of his sources. The JD rumor is false, and he's, of course, referring to the Pirates rumor. So it's not true. And I didn't think it was. But I'm going to talk about it. If something comes up, there was a lot of outlets talking about that. Is he going back? And I didn't think he is. I'm not saying he couldn't go back, but $300 million is a lot of money just for somebody to come back. It's There's no way the movie would make any money. It wouldn't make any money because you would still have a budget. So already, like, let's say they give the movie's budget $300 million. That's already $600 million plus promotion that's probably going to be 200 million i mean there's no way the movie would make any money it's just not the right kind of business now i think they will make an offer for him to come back as i said in yesterday's video is from what i understand from reading interviews there's two scripts one with jd and one without so it'd be really easy to bring him back and I think they want to, and I think they're going to talk to him if they're not already talking to him. Will he accept? That's the real question. Because I have no doubt they want him to come back for Pirates. Will he accept the deal, though? That's the real question. And I don't know. I'm not JD. I wouldn't be mad at him if he goes back and does a Pirates, to be honest. It'd be a big uh, middle finger to the mainstream. Like, oh, I'm back. I'm tr I am truly am uncanceled. But that's up to him. That's a that's, uh, decision he's got to make. Here's something he did say, though. Uh, apparently, before the trial started, he was talking to some influencers, an Instagram influencer, to be exact, and he had quite a bit to say about journalists. And he talked about the death of, a of journalistic integrity which I agree with him on. So apparently he had a long conversation with someone named Kraus over on Instagram. And we've got some quotes here. I don't know you, he says, but I know just by the words you use and the aesthetic in your work that I trust you, Kraus wrote, quoting Depp. He touches briefly on the Rolling Stone article that shredded his reputation and ruined his trust in media, a betrayal he hasn't yet recovered from. That's the widely read 2018 profile, which J.D. was interviewed for, covered the actor's legal and financial difficulties. I remember that article. I'm pretty sure I did a video on it. So a lot of stuff in this, in this article about how he's just weary of journalists, weary of mainstream media, and can you blame him after they have went out of their way to destroy his life? Basically, he thinks modern journalists are garbage. I mean, I, I don't disagree with him. <laughs> Tug is mentioned in here. Uh, they talk about how JD seems more comfortable communicating with online journalists. And I, I would be too, because I think they're a little bit better than mainstream journals. I mean, look at Taylor Lorenz or whatever her name is. I mean, you had that that woman, and then you have that journalist that was busted recently. Was it for USA Today? Like 80 of her articles or something. And that's not, I don't know if that's an exact quote or not. I'm just going off the top of my head here. But basically, a lot of her shit got 
uh, pulled because she was making up sources. I mean, is anybody truly shocked? But yeah, I like that. Uh, I like that this is out there because I agree with him. Modern journalists are trash. Also, some new audio going around. Listen to this. So actually, it's not new. It's from the 2020 UK trial, but it didn't get played during the recent one. Listen to this. Johnny, what do you need me to do? I love you. Stop. Don't smack my ear again. Very interesting. A little bit of audio. I don't know why it wasn't played during the Virginia trial, but still worth playing just to remind people that she was full of it. Speaking of AH, by the way, a lot of reports talking about the things that she's going to have to sell. So that gift from Mr. Elon Musk, a pretty sweet Tesla Model X, by the way, a electric vehicle that has 1,200 horsepower, which is pretty badass, just want to say. She's going to have to sell it. It's worth about $130,000, so she's going to have to sell it. And I say, womp, womp. She's in serious trouble. All of the income from her movies is not enough to cover the debt that she has with JD. So someone is literally going to have to finance her appeal because she's vowing to appeal. And as we've talked about in a previous video, that's going to be pretty expensive. It's not going to be cheap to appeal that decision. She's going to have to spend a lot of her money, all of her money. And if she loses the appeal, she's going to lose all that money. She should She should have, I don't know why she didn't just settle. She probably wouldn't have to worry about any of this, but she's a narcissist. So she's going to do whatever she can to try to win back the favor of the people, and this is not going to happen. Let's say she gets past the appeal, the appeal and she gets another trial. She'll lose that one too. She'll lose that one too. And then what? And then what? So all of her stuff, she's going to have to sell everything. And then she's still going to need to borrow some money from somebody. Who's going to give her that money? That's the real question. I don't know why these other lawyers are still talking. She'd be a fool to bring rotten born and Elaine back for the next case. (laughs) Uh, AH considers her Hollywood career to be over. She already in, she's already in talks and excited about the book. At this point, she has nothing to lose and wants to tell all, said a source close to the actress. How much money is she getting for that book, though? That's the question. Will that be enough for her appeal? We'll see. Anyway. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I like to hear from you in the comments. Throw a like up. Share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed, by the way. Hit that notification bell. bell. And uh, check out my locals. There is a link in the description. It's free. It's like Twitter, but better. Check out that platform. A lot of cool people over there. And uh, we can say what we want in most cases on that platform. So check it out. There's a link in the description. You will find it there. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel usually smaller 
and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.